Hi and welcome to my Minecraft Redstone tutorial world. My name is Mrs. West um, and I'm a teacher at Greensburg Salem Middle School. I teach our music technology classes and I know every time I say that we're gonna do Minecraft in our music class everyone thinks well what can you possibly do with music in Minecraft and I'm here to show you a little bit about that. The first thing I need to do is kind of introduce everybody to Redstone and Redstone is um, it's part of an engineering um, program that Minecraft is actually pretty good at. It's it, You see what you get, basically. And as long as you know a few basic um, things about redstone, then you could do some pretty neat things. It's basically like electrical wire, electrical machines, um, different machines that do different things using a couple basic principles. What we have here is a lever and the lever is just like your light switch. And at the very end of this redstone dust trail that we have, we see a lamp, just a square. At the end of my little path, that's a cube lamp. We flip the switch, the lamp turns on. We flip the switch, the lamp turns off. Very basic. Basically, what would happen is if I broke this and flipped the switch, nothing happens. You can see my signal goes one block and stops. I also can't put my lever right on top of this because obviously that's already there. So I'm gonna fix my line again. The lamp lights. This, lamp, this uh, line of redstone is exactly 15 blocks long and you'll see in a second why that's important. This lever goes to another redstone lamp at the end of this. If I flip this lever, it doesn't work. Nothing happens. And if you counted this as 16 away, after 15 blocks you need to add something called a repeater. And the repeater basically extends the signal. The repeater um, is this guy up here in your inventory. Not to be confused with this one, which is a comparator. This one extends your signal you can also delay your signal. We're going to work with these a lot. A comparator basically says, hey, the thing that this is next to has something in it or has some, some kind, it's, it's reading some kind of signal. So move on. It lets the signal move on at that point. So if it's a chest, the comparator is checking to see if the chest has something in it. And if there's something in the chest, then it will, it will let the signal continue. The repeater um, lets the signal continue no matter what as long as it's facing the right direction. But we have a couple little things over here. We've got ourselves a shooting range. We have our little our little zombie head guy. And if I hit this button, I right click on the button, see I see it's full of arrows. It's a dispenser. If I hit the button, it shoots at my little guy here, my little target practice guy. Boom, boom, boom. And I can shoot arrows at him. I right click on my dispenser, load it full of whatever, in this case arrows. Sometimes you can put snowballs or something in it and shoot snowballs. But I'm shooting at my little guy. Um, this little piggy up here that's making lots of noise, he's riding a, a minecart. And minecarts are kind of like, they were the first thing I did in, in Redstone because I like to make roller coasters. So I, uh, I put a little pig in this little mine cart and there is a powered rail here, a powered rail here, a powered rail there, and he goes to the top and he goes back down. Um, at the top of the little pillars there, you'll see a redstone torch. And that's different than a regular torch. The regular torch is kind of yellowish orange on top and the redstone torch is red. Uh, the regular torch is a lot brighter than a redstone torch. You can't really use a redstone torch to light something. Uh, you use it, um, or you uh, make it using sticks and redstone dust, which you can mine. This redstone dust is something you basically sprinkle between your input and your output. So in this case, my input is this lever. If I right click on the lever, the little piggy stops in his tracks and can't go anymore because the rail is no longer powered. And you can see that the dust kind of turns this kind of like dark red purple color. Here you can see a lever and some pistons. 
I have redstone dust sprinkled in between this block, this block, and that block. And you can see that this lever is going to power something. Um, I've got pistons under here. And the two pistons look the same until I turn the lever off. This is a sticky piston, and this is just a regular piston. When I release, or when I hit the lever and turn it off, the sticky piston goes back down, or brings the block back down. The regular piston leaves it there. And that's an important difference. Because if you have a machine that you want to, um, you want to power something and you want it to, um, there are a bunch of reasons that you'd want a sticky piston instead of a regular piston. Um, it's kind of important to bring the piston back, but there's sometimes that you'd need a regular piston too. Here we have an iron door, and I can't just right click on this and open it like I would be able to with a wooden door. I need to have it powered somehow. So I have a pressure plate. This is a metal pres pressure plate. When I step on the pressure plate, the door opens. When I step off the pressure plate, the door closes. It's open, it's closed. I can also put a lever on that, um, or a button, or whatever. A lever would leave it open. A button and a pressure plate, um, as soon as they deactivate, the door's going to close. It's important later. Different things. Here we have some logic gates. And just to kind of show you what's going on here, we have ourselves a lever, and we have some redstone dust. And on the back of this quartz block, I have a redstone, a redstone torch. And because my my lever is on, you can see that it turns orange when it's on. It actually flips and does the opposite to this torch. So then this torch is now powering the lamp, and you can kind of you can see the circuit. But for this one, it's called a knock gate because you have it turned off. You turn it off to turn the lamp on. So it's kind of like an opposite opposite gate. This is an OR gate. Um, this is two redstone torches. See that they are deactivated at this point. Some redstone dust sprinkled in between them and back to our output. If either one of these levers is flipped to the OFF position, because you see they're on, um, my redstone lamp turns on, or both of them, one or the other, or both. This is an AND gate. This looks exactly the same as that one, except the difference is, in the back of this one, we have kind of our, it's a combination of our OR and our NOT. Um, we have another torch at the back, which means that these are turning this one off. And if I turn the torches back off, both of them, then this turns on, this turns on, and this turns on. So my redstone lamp is lit up then. I've got all three lamps lit up, and I can move on with my life. Um, going down my little corridor in this world, the next thing I have is a TNT cannon. And this is kind of my little demonstration of repeaters. So these little guys right here are repeaters. Um, facing in the direction of your output, which in this case is a bunch of TNT. Dangerous stuff. Um, you lay your repeaters. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I've got a bunch of repeaters here, and I have them set to a pretty long delay. Now I'm going to have to change my game mode to creative mode. Ah, creative mode. Because if I don't, like my warning sign says, if I'm not set in creative mode, I will explode when I use my TNT cannon. So I just trigger my TNT cannon, and you see the delays. Delay, delay, delay. Very delayed. It is a long wait before my TNT cannon goes off. And I see, wee everything. Um, so what I can do is um, load this back up with some TNT and get this back on here. 
and show you what this would look like if I switched my repeaters to be very short. I would have a very short delay. So I've got all my repeaters set to one tick instead of four. And you know what? Education Edition has a tendency, does it not, to rain constantly. I can get rid of that pretty easy. There. There. So I changed to clear weather. I hop back into this, and you will see this go pretty fast. My TNT cannon is going to shoot me up into the clouds and back in the water, safely landing where I'm not dead. And teachers, you can see, I don't want my students to destroy this, so I've got deny blocks everywhere in my world. Everywhere. Under everything. Everything. If you don't want the kids to <laughs> knock everything over, grief everything. You've got to use your deny blocks. So I'm just going to hop back out of here. Goodbye, TNT cannon. Until our next victim. Hopping up the steps here, we've got ourselves a piston door. The difference between the iron door and the piston door is, there we go, it opens basically the same way with my pressure plates. Opens just fine, but... Um, as soon as I hop off of this, my piston door is going to close again. So if you've got a line of people behind you, everyone's going to have to step on the pressure plate. It's kind of annoying. If you want it to stay open, you're going to need a lever instead of a piston. Or, uh, I'm sorry, a lever instead of a pressure plate. Um, and if I were to show you what's in there... Yoink! Pistons. What kind of pistons? Sticky pistons. Not just your regular piston, but sticky pistons. Because I want to pull the the redstone block here um, away. Oops, redstone blocks are over here somewhere. Uh, somewhere. I don't know why they're there, but that's where they are. So I can put this back, and I can stumble around with my thing, because it's really hard to talk and think and do this at the same time. Not really a YouTuber. So, to avoid doing a lever, we use something called a T-flip-flop. And here's an example of a T-flip-flop build. I step, on the, I step on the pressure plate, and it stays open. And <clears throat> the T and T-flip-flop is going to stand for a toggle. So this is a toggle switch. Just like a lever. A lever is a toggle switch. A, um, a T-flip-flop turns a button or a pressure plate into a toggle switch, which is really, really useful if you don't want to have a lever. If you don't have a place for a lever or whatever, um, you want to have it open so that you can have people behind you or you can just leave it open for whatever reason. If you don't want it to close again, you use yourself a T-flip-flop. Open and close. I could show you um, all of the insides to this, but... If you look in the look in the uh, description of this video, you will see a link to download this whole world, and it'll be in the in the description down there. So here's your here's your, the T flip flop I used, um, a little bit more a lot more reliable than some of the other um, options that you have. It's just a bunch of hopper uh, hopper and a, three droppers, and it just makes a circle. So you've got one going. Um, over, one going up, one going over, one going down, and it just makes a circle. And you put something in this one, and it just goes around whenever you step on it. Or, I just like to throw things on it. Bam. And now it's off. And now it's on. And it's just... I said, now it's on! Hey. Oh, I was touching it. There we go. So, here is a use for our comparator friend. Our friend the comparator sees that there is something uh. in this dropper. And when there is something in this dropper, it says, hey, send a signal the whole way over here. So I've got my signal going around the corner, because if I didn't, um, I they're directional. It has to go in the same direction as where you want it to go. And out and out and out to my lamp. Our droppers, um, 
droppers drop and dispensers kind of shoot. Those are different. So make sure you're using um, droppers. This hopper, um, you put stuff in it, this little funnel, and it goes out to wherever. Um, you have to crouch down to select where it's going to go out to. So this is going out into a downward facing dropper over into a, or a hopper. <laughs> hopper into a dropper that faces down. This dropper faces this way, and this dropper faces up. It's a circle. And I am hungry after talking all this much, so I'm going to have myself a cookie. Yum. Bunch of hoppers um, going into this one from a chest on the roof. Um, drops in, drops into a hopper. The dropper just kind of drops it on me whenever I step on this thing. And all the redstone is... Yum. Oh, but you have to let it... You have to hear it click twice. Yeah, there it is. It just kind of falls out of the ceiling because I've got it under some steps. Now, I've collected a bunch of crap right now. I'm going to get rid of it. I'm going to put it in my garbage can. And there's lava under here. There's a another hopper going into a dropper, dropping it into some lava, and what we call redstone clock. It just kind of turns it on and off and on and off and on and off. There's our comparator. There's our repeater. Um, and we've got some redstone running along it. Redstone dust connecting it all up so that it spits it into the lava, which is great. And if I look, I can just see it dropping down into the, into the hopper, into the dropper. If I look at the hopper, it just has one in it, and the dropper just has one and then it shoots it out pretty fast and I have a repeater set to just one tick on there too and there are lots of places where you can look and see where you can download this stuff and again you can play around with this tutorial world as well um, we have a hidden door here and this is going to utilize some observer blocks it's, um, it's a, a flush hidden door it's actually over here. So if I push this button, it opens and closes using another T flip flop so that my button is turned into a lever. And that clicking is kind of annoying, but it's there. That's my garbage can. It'll go away here in a second. So you can kind of see what's going on up here. We've got some sticky pistons again and um, observer blocks, which see the. Uh, there we go, the redstone torches, you see my pistons. And that's just some things you can do with redstone here in Minecraft Education Edition. Um, come back and watch part two of my tutorial which talks all about note blocks, um, which is really, really interesting and something that a lot of people don't realize um, exists in Minecraft. And another reason that I'm doing this as a music teacher and as a... Uh, definite Minecraft geek um, is about the, the note block song. So come back to part two. Bye-bye.